Ludwig is not telling the truth. He's not a YouTuber, he's not a streamer, he's a marketer. Okay, hear me out. Last year, he released a video called, I made a secret channel to prove it's not luck. With the premise being, Is success on YouTube mostly luck? Or is it mostly skill? Ludwig then proceeds to put on a clinic on the four basics of marketing. Hey, I'm Kenan, and I'm going to prove that Ludwig is secretly a marketer. For those of you who don't know who Ludwig is, he's a popular YouTuber who started his career as a Twitch streamer that once held the record for the highest number of subscriptions of any streaming channel. And that hair? I've wanted to make this video for a while because it's the video that inspired this very channel. So my tens of fans have Ludwig to thank for Kenan Thinks. Let's jump in. I'm gonna give myself 24 hours to get at least 1,000 views. It's not hundreds of thousands and it's not millions. Ludwig does the first and most important basic of marketing, set a goal. Marketing goals are important because it provides direction for every step that you're going to take as a marketer. The gold standard for setting goals is what we call SMART goals. S, specific, M, measurable, A, achievable, R, relevant, T, time bound. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to do a video on smart goals and how to use them. So here's what I did. I wrote out a script of a video that I thought would be pretty good. It's kind of like a video essay, but it's on Twitch streamers, specifically my good friend, Mizkiff. This part's simple. As marketers, we need a product to actually market. And in this case, Ludwig's product is a video about another streamer named Mizkiff. And the reason I did it on Mizkiff is one, because I think I have a decent amount of knowledge on this, so I'm speaking as an authority. And if I can get Mizkiff to watch this on stream in front of about 45,000 people, well, I think that's a win, but also a lot of them will click on it. And I think there's a chance that this video might get a decent amount of views. Here, Ludwig is starting to outline the second basic of marketing, the marketing strategy. And the first part of his strategy is defining what his target audience is. In this case, Mizkiff and his followers. If this was a more formal marketing plan, we would put together a profile on what a typical audience member might look like. For example, in this case, it's most likely male, they're under 25, they like video games, they tend to be technologically savvy. Yeah, you get it. Marketers need to understand their target audience and figure out the best way to deliver information to them. What if I just call it online lore? I kind of like online lore. So let's, let's get a profile picture for online lore. Loading screen game. Like if it's called online lore and then it's a loading screen, that's kind of a good idea. I kind of like this. Now that he knows his target audience, the second part of Ludwig's strategy is branding. In this case, he chose a name, logo, and aesthetic that might appeal to younger gamers. Good branding gives visual cues that connect a product with a target audience. Here's some advice I give to all my clients. Don't overthink branding. We're not looking for Mona Lisa here. It should be simple and straightforward and to the point, and I think Ludwig in this situation does a fantastic job not overthinking his branding. And the actual title for this is, I think I had one, how a door made this streamer $1 million. So now the only thing I have to worry about is the title and the thumbnail. I, I kind of, I think this is really catchy. I, I like it a lot. And the final part of Ludwig's strategy is his content. Content is the meat of your strategy. It needs to capture the attention of a target audience, provide them value and engage them. The trick here is to capture the audience attention to begin with. And that's why Ludwig places a lot of importance on the title and thumbnail of his video, the product. Man, it's got 50 bucks. I Someone titled it. called you the biggest streamer in the world? Easy bait. How a door made the streamer a million dollars. Okay, he's hooked. He's hooked. He's hooked! Oh! Yes! Is this gonna stroke my ego? The yes! Will be remembered as a time oh, Let's story. go! Mental Let's go! All right, here's how I get views now. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe so I know to keep making you don't even like You don't even have other videos, dude. Like you gave me 50 one. bucks. You know what you're doing. Ludwig's strategy is in place now, so he moves on to the third basic of marketing, execution. He executes on a strategy by choosing a channel to market his product. In this case, it's Miskiff's live stream. I can't understate this. There are thousands of different marketing channels to choose from, from search ads, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube ads, TV ads, magazines, billboards. If you're advertising a sex shop for truckers, I guess, 
Ludwig's execution in this case was risky. He didn't know for sure if Miskiff would feature his video on the actual live stream, but he did. And to be honest with you, this was the first time that I was on my feet openly cheering a YouTube video. It was so exciting to see it come together as a marketer and honestly a beautiful thing to watch. It's been about four days since I uploaded this video. I spent about $600 to make it with the editor, the voiceover guy, and then the marketing efforts. And here's how it's doing. Currently, the video is sitting at about 11,000 views. The channel is at about 1,000 subscribers. And finally, here we're entering the fourth basic of marketing, measurement. Ludwig dives into the analytics to measure his success, and this is important. When people think of marketing, they have visions of Don Draper chain smoking and riffing ideas into a room of old white men. When in reality, it's more like a bunch of nerds in front of a computer combing through numbers on spreadsheets. Why is measuring your success so important? Well, it helps marketers understand two key things. Why and how. Why did I succeed? Or why did I fail? How do I succeed again? And how do I improve next time? Win or lose, measurement gives you direction for your future. In this case, he successfully met his goal. Why did he succeed? Because he understood his audience and how to reach them. How can he replicate the success? Well, using what he learned to create more content that appeals to his audience and favored by the YouTube algorithm. Ludwig has no formal training in marketing. He doesn't have a degree in marketing. So here's my question. Is marketing innate? Is there a marketing gene that some people have and others don't like that hair? No, marketing is not innate. It's not something in your blood. Throughout my career, I've met people with marketing degrees that have no idea what to do. And like any good skill worth developing in life, good marketing comes from experience, and Ludwig's been honing his craft for years, grinding through his streams, learning what works and what doesn't. Over time, he became a marketer even if he won't admit it. There, now you're an expert. If you like this video, please remember to like and subscribe. If you wanna see more like it, let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that notification button below. Cool, thanks.